The end of Osama bin Laden has done little to calm end of the world scenarios from the Mayan calendar to fears of a monster asteroid. Some people are getting ready for the apocalypse. KTLA's Dave Malkoff talked with a man in San Diego County who is building bunkers to survive it all. Yes, it's true. The world could end with an ice age, asteroid, plague, alien invasion, dark matter, global war, gamma ray burst, food shortage, population rise in the sheets, volcano, bioterrorism, or perhaps it's a uh, solar, an economic meltdown. Yeah, what if the world economy collapsed tomorrow? You know, Susie Q, homemaker next door with two kids, will become a fierce predator when it comes to finding food for her children. I'm Robert Asino. He's the guy who wants to save up to 6,000 people in the world by building a network of underground shelters. Fully stocked with food and clothing and medicine. There's separate living quarters complete with separate kitchens and bathrooms, small living room areas, studies, storage areas, and private bedroom suites. Everything is provided for them to survive for up to one year. One year is, in our engineers and experts' opinion, long enough to write out 99% of the event. Vecino says he's building five Vivo shelters in the United States right now. One is nearly complete. The one that's first to go is Nebraska. But where exactly in Nebraska? He, he won't say. One of our shelters was compromised. The one near Barstow, California. Vecino told me an unnamed newspaper reporter let the location slip. To the extent that anybody could figure out where that shelter was. Uh, once a shelter is no longer secret, it's it's really no longer useful. His customers are paying good money for end of days insurance. $25,000 per person guarantees you a spot inside here when the world ends. Are you ready for his return? But no matter how bad it is today... Concrete walls help stop radioactivity. The truth is... Scientists are now warning us of terrible dangers from outer space. In 1982. Scientists, prophets, philosophers, and clairvoyants of all kinds have been predicting the end of the world with great certainty for centuries. The greatest prophecy in the Bible is not far from fulfillment. Well, there's one that's coming called Comet Elenin. Ella Nin. If you spelled it backwards, it says 9 11. And uh, guess when it's passing us? First of all, Elenin spelled backwards is Nin Nelly. Anyway, this is the true JPL orbit projection for Comet C-2010-X1, or Elenin. It will pass by the Earth on October 16th of this year, not September 11th. It's not going to hit us, as far as we know, but we're going to go right through its path. Right through? Well, JPL predicts it will come no closer than 21 million miles to us. That's about the distance from here to Venus when we pass by each other. In all fairness, our solar system is littered with rocks and hunks of ice that could hit us, bringing the end of the world. Just Elenin is not it. Still, these underground fortresses are selling. Protecting a family of four would cost $100,000. And that's just about as cheap as a one-year fully stocked high-security doomsday bunker can get. I mean, the food alone is, is $3,500 for one year of food. The one trick is making it inside before the world ends. You just got to get there before the door is sealed. Or you're out here with the rest of us in San Diego. Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. <laughs> Oh. Hey, I'm just going to hide under the desk here. Uh, that should do. Cool. You know what? That sounds like the perfect plan because yeah. really, if everything's yeah. going to be gone and obliterated, why would you even want to be here? I don't know. Without your loved ones. I'll hide there. <laughs> Great. You hide us and you recreate the whole world. I How's like that? It. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll work on getting you one. In the meantime, let's work on getting that weather picture up because it's absolutely beautiful.